All right, so what we want to look at today is we want to address some of the concerns with jack audio and why it won't start on your ALSA sound card. So uh, let's start out with the common things. First step would be to close all of your applications except jack. So this would be Firefox and Chrome, which might be accessing the sound card through Flash or something like that, or HTML5, Skype, Pigeon, or Empathy. Close those applications. Uh, the next step would be to make sure that you have signal on your capture port in either ALSA mixer or your pulse audio control volume control area. Uh, some distros don't ship pulse, and so ALSA mixer may still be valid. So uh, let's fire up a terminal window and just take a look at that. So ALSA mixer, as you can see here, with USB, uh, I go to capture and there's nothing there. So it's just playback. And you see here I have uh, certainly have a lot of signal there. And it's not, uh, there'd be two M's if it was muted. So that's, that's step uh, one. Close out of that. Uh, if you're using a distribution that runs on Pulse Audio, like most modern distributions are doing this, Linux distributions, you will open up the Pulse Audio Volume Control and you will shortcut straight into the input devices, making sure that you have signal, as in you see it here, and that this is not muted. So if that's all go, you're in good standing to continue on. So close that. I would encourage you if you are on, we're on step three here, if, if you're on a Debian testing distribution or if you are on a Ubuntu 10.04 distribution, you may get value in running these two commands to make sure that Jack is running with real-time priority and to make sure that your user is a member of the audio group. Uh, so doing the two commands, this first one, if you copy and if you type this in sudo space dpkg dash reconfigure space minus p for peter space high space jack d one or two um, running that will bring up a box which will ask you if you want to grant it real-time privileges and you just hit enter on yes it's already selected anyway uh, next once that's finished you would issue sudo space add user space whatever username you're using on the system space audio and hit enter on that and that will add you to the audio user group on your system log out and log back in if that's successful you will want to run this command in a terminal window u limit minus r minus l if you see something like this with the high priority like 99 and unlimited you are successful in configuring your jack audio for real-time access. All right, let's go to number four, which is reviewing the jack settings. Let's take a look at that. You probably want to start relatively conservative. If you have a USB audio device, you're probably going to hit frames of 128 or 256 with ease. Um, buffers or periods should be two or three. Sample rate should be specific to your sound card's natural habitat. So USB audio is often 48,000. Uh, onboard sound might be that or might be 44 one. Um, look at whatever information you have to find out what your card natively is happiest at. And um, the big thing here is that you know, if you have an onboard decent PCI card, you might be hitting 64 or maybe 32. Uh, if you've got like onboard sound, you might be hitting f like cheap one. You might be hitting 512 or 256 or 1024. So these are the values you're probably looking at trying out. The higher this number, the greater the, uh, I guess, latency is going to be. The lower the number, the lower the latency, which means it's the if you're doing real-time stuff like playing into a, a amplifier or simulator or things like that, you want to be you know fairly low, at least 128, so you don't hear a delay in between what you strum on your guitar, for instance, and what you hear through the effect. 
Moving on, the big thing here is the interface. You want to check that out. A lot of people might click this one and go, I don't know what's going on here. None of this makes any sense. So I would encourage you to click the arrow in QJAC control. By the way, wow, uh, the application we're using is QJAC control in this case. And that's the common cute uh, way of configuring Jack. Um, there are other ways, but most people are using this one. Click the arrow there and you're going to get a list. In my case, I've disabled onboard sound, so I'm on my desktop. I'm really only using the USB audio card that I have. Often you're going to have something like HW0 or HW1, and uh, you're going to want to choose one of those. Just a note, if you don't disable onboard sound and you, you may find yourself with a USB device that decides to become HW0 one day and then HW1 one day, so you're going to want to click this arrow to see what it is. So let's suppose that's all good. You uh, OK that and you click play and voila! You actually are seeing active RT for real time and you know it, it's going. So that would be fantastic. So that would be Jack running. So let's suppose it's running and it's it's sort of like out of control. You've got red numbers in these in brackets here, and red numbers keep increasing. Those are called X runs, and you don't want those. If you get those, you want to go back to your setup. You want to loosen up the settings, try a period of three, for instance, and try um, that, OK that, and click stop and start. And see if you still have the problem. If you do, go back to setup and drop your frames you know to the next one down and okay that and then stop and start and see until you get something good uh, where you don't get those red numbers increasing and going up so that would be great you'd be ready to go then at that point you can fire up either a Q tractor to record uh, you can fire up Ardor to record in, though they're both digital audio workstations, Traverso, for instance, as well. Or you could fire up rack a rack and plug your guitar into your device and do some amplifier modeling stuff. Uh, all of that, of course, is a whole other segment. So that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Hopefully you found that helpful. And uh, you can comment on the page if I miss something or you have other feedback. Cheers.